Hello, hello folks. So um, in today's video, I want to show you my latest finding because I wasn't aware actually it's coming. So like just this week, Microsoft rolled out a new action to Microsoft Teams set of actions inside Power Automate that is dedicated to, guess what? Mentioning a user in Microsoft Teams. So before we had this action, there were ways to as well create a flow where we were able to mention someone in a message or, uh, or uh, uh, yeah, or, or a comment as well. However, it wasn't a very straightforward in most of the cases because there is an endpoint in Graph API, but it doesn't support application permissions. So we require the delegated permissions, which is not that easy in Power Automate. So anyway, what I mean is that before this action appeared, actually, it wasn't that very easy to mention someone in messages that are being sent from Power Automate to Microsoft Teams. However, as said, this week's addition gives us this power, this, this functionality that makes this way easier. And it works for both messages, so just the simple messages that we can send from Power Automate to Microsoft Teams and adaptive cards. Let me show you what I mean. So once we navigate to Power Automate and we open the Microsoft Teams stack of actions, let me just briefly do a very short flow. Then in under Microsoft Teams, there is this new action called get mentioned token for a user. Now this action as an input parameter, it either accepts a user Azure ID or user's email. I think that more safely, safer um, is just to provide the user email, but that's just me. You can as well provide user ID. However, this action doesn't work for mentioning of channels. So if you try to provide your um, a channel ID, then the workflow will simply fail. So don't try, I tried it. It's not yet supported. All right, now once this action is executed, it will simply return you this string AT, I mean tag AT, user's email or user's ID, closing tag AT. And it looks like it's very straightforward or it's very easy because it just doesn't return anything else. However, once we use output of this action in our other action is, for example, sending a message to Teams, then the, well, the flow bar that is behind is simply adding all the required code and mention and DDs to this message so that uh, the, um, the host that is passing these contents is then able to actually bind this AT mention tag with an actual person and in the end it does work. So that's something that we were not able actually to do before then. Today it is working. So let me just show you how it works. I have three teams opened. As a first team, me as a Tomasz Pozitek. Then there is a second team uh, from John Researcher who is today working as, let's say, Teams admin. And lastly, there is uh, someone who is called the Teams test user who is just a regular user. And now this Teams test user is going to post a message. This. And that's it. So this test user posted a message. Now me as a Tomasz project, I should already have this message. message. So, um, okay, there it is. And well, I don't like it. So, in my company, let's say there is this new flow already being triggered, that is a new flow that's already created that is triggered on this new trigger that is called for a slated message. So I can simply navigate onto those ellipses icon here for this message. And then for more actions, I can simply trigger the flow that is called options for a message. And so this uh, will open and just this model window with an adaptive card inside where I can simply choose an action that I want to have for this message. And I want to report it because I find it abusive or uh, offensive and abusive. So now, now what is going to happen once I hit submit? There are two things going on to happen right now. First, the author of this message is going to be like 
there's going to be a comment post below this message stating that this post is under an investigation and plus there is um, another channel that is called uh, the message request or you can call it administrative or whatever in your case where administrator is going to be notified with an again adaptive card that there is something wrong with this uh, with this particular message so hey just look at it and and take an action so let's go and tada so there is already this information with a note with a mention that this message has been reported and is now being under investigation so the user who posted it sees that this is a message that is actually mentioning them and then John researcher has said who is an administrator also received here in message request uh, a message with a mention so as you can see John researcher also reported or received this this adaptive card with a mention as well so there is also this possibility to put mentions in as adaptive cards and they simply need to do something with this message with this uh, re reported information so they can click to open the related message to see what is this actually all about so they have this message highlighted with yellow as you saw and then they can simply I want to go here somehow react and confirm this task completion so how does it work in the end that's very simple now just not one thing about adaptive cards uh, this is only working for uh, the elements of the, of the adaptive card that are fully text so when speaking about the adaptive card we should go uh, for a while for the, to the navigator to the designer if you want to mention anyone if you want to put these outputs of the mention action in an adaptive card you have to do it either in a text block so this element come on don't be shy so either in a text block or in a fact set right so these are the two elements well fact set is a container to be honest but you can just put a uh, dimension in a fact or in a value but anyway these are only those two constructs those two elements that you can use to uh, display the mention inside an adaptive card so how this flow is actually working well it's very very simple so first um, there is I don't don't bother about all those, all those fails that was just tests so first um, when once this message is selected so once the flow is triggered uh, flow is obtaining profile the user data from uh, for the reporter and the author of that actual message and then if this is the uh, report message option then it is actually getting this mention token for administrator and then for the author and then for the author it is replying to this original message using this mention from the message author mention action and lastly it is posting an adaptive card to the other channel and then waiting until this message uh, until this adaptive card is completed and here you can as well find this mention of the administrator and that is actually it and it's very simple you don't need to put any mother any more code you don't need to put uh, any of those ATAT -AT tags around this mention outcome you simply need to use this action first to get this mention token and then just put it as uh, as this outcome like here right and that's it that's it there is nothing more that uh, we really need so I hope you like it I hope you really uh, are already excited about this new functionality and how you can use it in your business processes how you can um, you know post messages to, to Microsoft Teams and then grab even more attention by mentioning specific users who maybe who might be responsible for answering to this message uh, if you have any questions simply put them as a comments below the video if you want to contact me uh, there is already a set of information visible on the screen and I encourage you as well to subscribe to my channel like this video and yeah thumbs up and see you in the next video somewhere in this month hopefully thank you very much for watching and bye